so as you can see there are three methods of solving a quadratic equation the first one is making factors then using the quadratic formula and then completing the square please note that you can use any method for solving a quadratic equation but if it is uh, specified by the examiner that solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula then you cannot use the method of factorization or completing the square for solving that equation so if a certain method is specified by the examiner then you should solve the quadratic equation by using that method otherwise you are at liberty to use any method for solving the quadratic equation now what is the cartesian coordinate system the next topic the cartesian coordinate system was named after rene descartes it consists of two real number lines the horizontal axis is called the x axis and the vertical axis is known as y axis which meet in a right angle at a point called the origin the two number lines divide the plane into four areas called quadrants this i will show you in the next slide the quadrants will be shown in the next slide the quadrants are numbered using roman numerals as shown on the next slide each point in the plane corresponds to one and only one ordered pair of numbers x and y two ordered pairs are shown in the next slide so these are the four quadrants 1 2 3 and 4 as you can see so in the first quadrant x and y coordinates both are positive in the second quadrant y is positive and x is negative so in the third quadrant x and y both are negative and in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative so uh, the shown uh, the points which are shown in the slide minus 1 and minus 1 and 3 and 1 are plotted minus 1 and minus 1 lies in the third quadrant and 3 and 1 in the first quadrant how to how we plot these points we start from the origin and we move three units in the positive direction along x axis then one unit or one point along y axis and 3 1 is the point which is shown with the blue dot in the first quadrant similarly the point minus 1 and minus 1 is also shown are plotted which lies in the third quadrant now a linear equation may also be expressed in two variables 
so far we have discussed and solved the linear equations in one variable for example the equation x plus 2 is equal to 4 is a linear equation in one variable now the equation linear equation in two variables is of the form r is uh, is of the form x plus y is equal to 3 the standard form of the equation So the standard form of a linear equation in two variables is ax plus by is equal to c where a, b and c are constants and x and y are the variable. A solution of an equation in two variables is an ordered pair of real numbers that satisfies the equation. For example, the, a solution, the solution set of the equation 3x minus 2y is equal to 6 is 4 and 3. As we have seen while solving the quadratic equations and linear equations that whatever we get the solution, if we put the values of the variable or the value of the variable, if there is uh, only one variable, that variable satisfy the basic equation. So, if we put x is equal to 4 and so if we put x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3 in this equation, this equation is satisfied. So, we say that 4 3 is the solution set of this equation. The solution set of an equation in two variables is the set of all solutions of the equation and the graph of an equation is the graph of its solution set. So, with the help of the solution set, we can also, form, uh, also draw the line in the Cartesian plane or which is called the graph of the line. Now let us uh, study or examine the standard form of an equation from another point of view and try to define the slope of a straight line. Now the standard form of the equation of a straight line is ax plus by is equal to c. Now rewrite and transform this standard form of the equation as y is equal to minus a over b into x plus c over b. How we can transform this equation into this form? Shift the term with the variable x to the right hand side and then isolate the variable y by dividing both sides of this equation by b and we will get this equation. Now put minus a over b is equal to m and c over b is equal to the small letter b. Now, now the equation is transformed into y is equal to mx plus b. This equation is called the slope intercept form of the equation of a straight line. Here m is the slope and b is the y intercept and clearly as we have made the replacements m is equal to minus a over b and b is equal to c over b. From here we can get the values of x and y 
as well. Now there are some special uh, cases. The graph of x is equal to k is the graph of the vertical line k units from the x-axis. I'll just show you in the next slide. Similarly, the graph of y is equal to k is the graph of the horizontal line k units from the x-axis. Let us now try to understand with the help of uh, the two examples. Graph the equation x is equal to minus 7. And similarly, graph the equation y is equal to 3. Now, just see in the next slide. x is equal to minus 7. We have to move minus 7 units from the origin to the left hand side. So, you can see the red line. Every point on this red line is minus 7 units from the origin. So, the red line is at minus 7 units from the origin and the equation of this line is written in the form x is equal to minus 7. You can take any point on this red line and see that it is from it is at the 7 units from the origin. Similarly observe the green line. It is at seven it is at four units from the origin as well as from any point on the x axis. So, y is equal to 4 is the equation of the straight line which is parallel to y axis and x is equal to minus 7 is the equation of the straight line which is parallel to y axis. So, we can write it in the general form that y is equal to k is the straight line which is parallel to x-axis as you can see the green line it is parallel to x-axis and if we generalize x is equal to minus 7 we will write x is equal to k is the equation of a straight line or uh, uh, sorry x is equal to minus k is the equation of the straight line which is parallel to y-axis. Now, what is the slope of a line? Given two points x1, y1 and x2, y2, we can find the slope by using the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and which is equal to rise over run. y2 minus y1 is rise. The distance which we move along y axis is known as rise and the distance which you travel along x axis is known as run. So, m is denoted, uh, m denotes the slope and the formula for slope is equal to rise over run or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 where x1 and x2 y1 and x2 and y2 are the two points which are given for determining the slope of a line. 
So given two points, we will use this formula to find the slope. As we have already studied, when we transform the standard form of the equation of a straight line into y is equal to mx plus b, this is known as the slope intercept form of the equation of a straight line. The letter m represents the slope and b represents the y intercept. Now find the slope and y intercept of the line whose equation is 5x minus 2y is equal to 10. Let us now solve this question. So first of all, write on your notebooks the slope intercept form of the equation of a straight line which is y is equal to mx plus b. Now transform this equation into that form. We get minus 2y is equal to minus 5x plus 10. I have shifted 5x to the right hand side of this equation. Now I repeat what is the equation is now transformed into the form minus 2y is equal to minus 5x plus 10. Now divide both sides of this equation by minus 2 to isolate x so that it, it is transformed into the standard form. We get y is equal to minus 5 over minus 2x plus 10 over minus 2 or y is equal to minus 5 over 2 into x minus 5. Now this equation is transformed into the form y is equal to mx plus b. In this m is equal to minus 5 over 2. When we compare it with the standard form of the e equation in the slope intercept form, so slope is equal to minus 5 over 2 and y intercept b is equal to minus 5. So the question is solved. As you can see, this is how we have solved this uh, question. So the slope is 5 over 2 and the y intercept is and the y intercept is minus 5. Slope is uh, uh, 5 over 2, not minus 5 over 2. Because when we divide minus 5 by minus 2, so minus is neutralized. So slope is 5 over 2, not minus 5 over 2. So this is how we find the slope and y intercept given the equation of a straight line by transforming in uh, by transforming the equation into the standard form now the another another form of the equation of a straight line which is known as point slope form this is the equation of a straight line with the slope m and which passes through the given point x1, y1. So whenever we are given or we are required to find the equation of a straight line with slope m which passes through the point x1, y1, we will use this formula to find the equation of that straight line. Now, if the straight line passes through two points, x1, y1 and x2, y2, and we are required to find the equation of that straight line, first of all, we will find the slope of that straight line. 
and then after finding the slope of that straight line we will use this point slope form of the formula for the equation of a straight line to find the equation of the required straight line with slope m which is determined for those two points and using any point x1 y1 or x2 y2 and putting the values in the formula which is given in this slide and in both cases we'll get the same answer let us try to understand by solving this numerical find the equation of a straight line which passes through the points minus 5 and 7 and 4 and 16 now again write both these points on your notebook we have the points minus 5 and 7 and 4 and 16 now let us find the slope m is equal to 16 minus 7 that is y2 minus y1 over x2 4 minus into minus 5 which is equal to 9 over 9 is equal to 1 so the slope of the straight line which passes through these two points is 1 now we will use the point slope formula to find the equation of the straight line so we can use the point minus 5 and 7 or 4 and 16 whatever we like in both the cases we will get the same answer So let us first of all find the equation of the straight line with slope m is equal to one, and which passes through the point minus five and seven. So y minus y one is equal to m into x minus x one is the required formula. So put the values y minus seven is equal to one into x minus into minus five is plus five. So y minus seven is equal to x plus five, or y is equal to x plus twelve. So this is the equation of the required straight line. As you can see, in the displayed slide, that our answer is the same. Now. in this uh, solution which is shown in the slide the point 416 x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 16 has been used to find the equation of the straight line whereas we have used the point minus 5 and 7 to find the equation of the straight line and you see you can observe that the answer इन बोथ द केसेस इज द सेम तो इससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता अगर हमें दो पॉइंट्स दिए हों और हमें स्ट्रेट लाइन की इक्वेशन डिटरमिन करनी हो तो सबसे पहले हम उसकी स्लोप निकाल लेते हैं फिर जब स्लोप हम निकाल लेते हैं देन वी यूज द पॉइंट स्लोप फार्मूला टू फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रेट लाइन with the slope m is equal to 1 and which passes through any one of these points and we will get the same answer so as i have already told you equations of the form ax plus by is equal to c are called linear equations in two variables now how to plot the graph of a straight line 
with two variables the graph of a of a straight line which is linear and has two variables so let let me tell you the method of graphing in the cartesian plane a straight line with two variables so write the equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 12 on your notebooks put y is equal to 0 in this equation put y is equal to 0 we get 2x plus 0 is equal to 12 or x is equal to 6 so 6 0 x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 is the one point which we have found now put x is equal to 0 we get 0 plus 3y is equal to 12 or y is equal to 4 so 0 and 4 is the second point so 0 and 4 is the second point now we will draw this the equation of this this the straight line with the help of these two points so draw x and y axis and plot the point 6 0 move 6 units along x axis and y as we know that y is 0 on x axis so 6 0 is a point on x axis now plot the second point 0 4 on the y axis so x is 0 move 4 units upwards along y axis we get the point 0 4 now draw a straight line passing through these two points so this is the required equation this is the required equation as you can see in the displayed slide the equation will be like as shown in the diagram here the scale to one unit is equal to two points is used as you can see that the line passes through the point 30 and 02 so here for the sake of convenience two units is equal to one scale is used so this is how we draw a linear equation in two variables in the cartesian plane which is known as the graph of the linear equation so this is what i was telling you Six zero and 04 now the slope of the line passing through two points is given by the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which we have already studied and please note that x1 should not be equal to x2 because if x2 x1 is equal to x2 then we get zero in the denominator and the slope becomes undefined because y2 minus y1 over 0 is infinity 
So x1 should not be equal to x2. And if these are equal, then we say that the slope is undefined. The slope is the change in y divided by the change in x. That is rise over run. This, uh, this uh, formula we have already studied in the previous slides that slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 whereas y2 minus y1 is the change in y which is known as rise and x2 minus x1 is the change in x which is known as run. So rise over run. Find the slope of the line passing through the points 2, 3 and 4, 5. Now again write on your notebooks the formula for the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what is y2? y2 is 5 minus y1 is 3 over x2 is 4 and x1 is 2. So this is equal to 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So the slope of the line which passes through these two points is equal to 1. So slope is equal to 1. This we have already solved. Now this is the graph of the equation which passes through the two points. You can draw the equation, uh, the graph of this equation by using the same method. And uh, the method which we have already used in the previous slide, but for that uh, method we will have to find the equation of the straight line passing through one of these points. And the second method is shown in this graph. Plot the point 2, 3 in the Cartesian plane. Move 2 units along x-axis and 3 units along y-axis and we get the point 2, 3. Plot the point 4, 5 and then join these two points and we'll get the equation of the straight line which passes through these two points and as you can see rise is two units and run is also two units so slope is equal to rise over run so two over two is equal to one is the equation of a straight line so we can plot the graph of the equation of a straight line either by finding the y and the x intercepts that is finding the equation of a straight line put y is equal to 0 we will get the value of x then put x is equal to 0 so then using these two points we can draw the graph of the straight line and the second method is discussed and shown in the displayed slide Now again, as we have already discussed, a linear equation written in the form y is equal to mx plus b is in the slope intercept form. This equation is in the slope intercept form because here slope is given which is m and the y intercept is given which is b. So slope is m and y intercept is 
0 into b because x is equal to 0 on the x axis, on the y axis. So y intercept is written in the form 0 into b because every on every point on y axis, for every point on y axis, we, get, we have x is equal to 0. So to graph an equation in slope intercept form, write the equation in the form, identify m and b, plot the intercept, then starting at the y intercept, find, find another point on the line using the slope and draw the line through the point 0 p and the point located using the slope. So we will get the required graph of the straight line. Now graph the straight line y is equal to 2 x minus 4. So first of all put y is equal to 0. We will get x is equal to 2. So 0 and 2 is a point, is one point, now put y is equal, now put x is equal to 0. So we will get y is equal to minus 4. So the second point is 0 minus 4 and the first point was 2 into 0 because when we put y is equal to 0, we get x is equal to 2. So 2, 0 and 0 minus 4 are the two points. Now plot these points in the Cartesian plane, join them and we will get the equation of the straight line which passes through these two points. So here, in this uh, solution, the slope is also used and the graph is drawn by using the one point and the slope. And uh, please note, that in, in both the cases the straight line will be the same because we know that the slope of this uh, equation is 2 so we all we also know that slope is change in uh, 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 y over change in x that is rise over run this is equal to 2 over 1 so by using the slope from the point 0 minus 4, the point 1 minus 2 is located. Now join these two points and we will get the graph of the required straight line which will be the same which we have drawn by using the previous method. So this is the required straight line. Now a linear equation written in the form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This form is known as the point slope form. This is the equation of a straight line with slope m and which passes through the point x1, y1. The graph of this equation is the line with slope m passing through the point x1, y1. Now this is another example to draw the equation of a straight line with the equation y minus 3 is equal to minus 1 over 2 into x minus 4. You can use any method which we have already discussed to graph the equation of this straight line at your own.
Now write the slope intercept form of the equation of the line through the point minus 2, 5 with a slope of 3. So we have to solve this question by using the point slope formula. What is the point slope formula? y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So m is equal to 3, x1 is equal to minus 2 and y1 is equal to 5. Put the values in this equation y minus 5 is equal to 3 into x plus 2. Solve this equation. We get y minus 5 is equal to 3x plus 2 or y is equal to 3x plus 7 is the required equation or the equation of the required state line. We have made some mistake. We have not multiplied 2 by 3. So when we solve this equation, y minus y1 is equal to 3 into x minus x1, we get y minus 5 is equal to 3x plus 6. So when we shift 5 to the right hand side, we get the equation of the state line as y is equal to 3x plus 11 instead of 3x plus 7. Because we were unable to multiply 2 with 3, the second last The second last line of this uh, slide, when we open this or when we solve this, we get 3x plus 6 and then shift 5 to the right hand side, which is added into 6 and we get y is equal to 3x plus 11, the equation of the slope intercept form of the straight line. Write the slope intercept form for the equation of the line through the points 4, 3 and minus 2 and 4. Now first of all find the slope. By using the formula slope is equal to m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We have already solved question of uh, this type. So let us uh, solve this as well. So y2 minus y1 m is equal to y2 is 5 and y1 is 3. 5 minus 3 over minus 2 minus 4 is equal to 2 over minus 6 is equal to minus 1 over 3. So slope is equal to minus 1 over 3. Now find the equation of the state line with slope minus 1 over 3 which passes through the point 4, 3 and we will get the required equation or with slope m is equal to minus 1 over 3 and which passes through the point minus 2 and 5 we will get the same answer as we have already observed. So this is the slope, this is the formula, we have put in the values, then this is the required solution. The slope intercept form of the equation of the straight line. Now when two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So you should remember that parallel lines, when two lines are parallel, 
they have the same slope. So if m1 and m2 are the slopes of the two straight lines, then these, then m1 is equal to m2. If m1 is equal to m2, then these lines are parallel. So, as you can see, that the line y is equal to 2x minus 3 has slope m is equal to m1 is equal to 2, and the line, second line, y is equal to 2x plus 4 has the, also the same slope m2 is equal to 2. So, these two lines are parallel. This is the graph of the equation of the first straight line, and this is the graph of the second straight line. So these two are parallel. Now, if two lines, if two straight lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is equal to minus 1. That is, if m1 is the slope of the first straight line and m2 is the slope of the second straight line, then if we multiply m1 and m2, we get m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. So, the product of the slopes of the perpendicular lines is equal to minus 1. So, if m1 is given or m2 is given, we can find the slope of the second line by using this formula. Let us now see it graphically. So these are the two lines with the slopes m1 and m2. So m2 is equal to minus 1 over m1 as I have already told you that the product of the slopes is equal to minus 1. So m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. So m2 is equal to minus 1 over m1 and if we have to find m1, m1 will be equal to minus 1 over m2. Now The slope of the line y is equal to 3x minus 1 is m1 is equal to 3. And the slope of the second line, as you can see, is m2 is equal to minus 1 over 3. Now multiply both these, we get minus 1. It means that both these lines are perpendicular. That these lines are perpendicular. So this is the first graph of the first uh, straight line, this is the graph of the second and as you can see these are perpendicular. So you should remember that whenever two lines are parallel their slopes are equal and whenever two lines are perpendicular the product of their slopes is equal to minus 1. Now Here is uh, the practical application of this, uh, whatever we have studied. Office equipment was purchased for dollars twenty thousand, and will have a scrap value of two thousand after ten years. If its value is depreciated linearly find the linear equation that relates the value v in dollars to the time t in years. So we are given this data and we are required to find a linear equation which relates the value and time. So let us see how to solve this. Now the solution when t is equal to 0, v is equal to 20,000. And when t is equal to 10, v is equal to 2,000. Thus we have two ordered pairs, 0 and 20,000 and 10 and 2,000. We find the slope of the line using the slope formula. What is that formula? Y2 
minus y1 over x2 minus y1, uh, x2 minus x1. So slope is equal to 2000 minus 20,000 over 10 minus 0 is equal to minus 1800. Now, by using the slope intercept form, we get the required equation Vt is equal to minus 1800 into T plus 20,000. So this is the practical application. You can uh, attempt some more uh, questions of, pract of practical applications using uh, 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 given in your textbook. So with this we come to the end of uh, the lecture one in which we have studied the different uh, methods of solving the linear equations containing one variable. Then we have uh, studied the different methods of solving quadratic equations. Then the linear equations within uh, linear equations in two variables and the slope intercept form of the equation was straight line. Then given the slope and one point that how to find the equation of a straight line with a given slope and which passes through a one point x1, y1 and the formula is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and the formula for the slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus c or uh, mx plus b and whenever we have to find the equation of a state line which passes through two points first of all we find its uh, slope by using the formula of the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 then we find the equation of the state line which with slope m and which passes through any one of the any one of the two given points so with this uh, we come to the end of our lecture one now i'll be pleased to address your uh, queries and the problems so you can ask by writing your queries on the chatting mode and I will address those uh, queries and issues which we may have which you may have okay then thank you very much Allah Hafiz.